A boss doubted the ability of an employee with low performance. The boss thus increased the supervision, giving more specific instructions, and began checking if they were completed as expected. The employee felt lack of trust, likely both distances from the boss, and started taking more challenges and just more work to prove them wrong. The boss noticed this behavior and thought there's poor judgment, this increased the supervision, increased micromanagement, and reduced agency. The employee thus felt now chained to the job, with very restrictive tasks and constant micromanagement, so spent more time defending themselves instead of performing. The boss was now convinced the employee couldn't perform and spoke out about it explicitly. Eventually, the employee left the company. This story is summarized the key contents of the book, The Setup to Fail Syndrome, How Good Managers Cause Great People to Fail, co-authored by Jean-Francois Manzoni and Jean-Louis Barsou of INSEAD, Business School, in France. The authors named this phenomenon, The Setup to Fail Syndrome, this is a psychological syndrome in which when a competent employee is suspected of being incompetent by his boss, his work ability decreases, he loses motivation, and gradually turns into an incompetent employee. The main reason for this is the confirmation bias in which humans try to accept only information that suits their subjectivity. Research shows that bosses tend to attribute the good things that happen to weaker performers to external factors rather than to their efforts and ability. On the other hand, for high performers, bosses tend to perceive their success as theirs and tend to perceive failure as attributable to external uncontrollable factors. So how to avoid this syndrome? Experts advise that bosses should first try to rebuild trust through active communication. As such, it's important they review what's happening, connect, and reset 